I think every artist is different, even if you're doing the exact same piece, the same portrait, whatever, how you do it and how I do it would have a slightly different style or flair to it. I think I just do what I think is aesthetically beautiful for that area of the body or that project that we're working on. I try my best not to look online. If possible, I would just try to make something of my own, just play along with the body shapes. Within the body shape, what kind of shapes should I put inside? I began to have tattoos myself from 13, like small, small tattoos. I think by the time when I was 15, I think my legs, chest, the top arms, my back, pretty much all covered already. If I wasn't tattooed so much and if, and if I see someone like me, I, I would say, not disrespectfully, but I would definitely turn around and have a good look, man. This is how I want to decorate myself, so... I don't see what's the fault in that. Uh. At least 95% of all my work is uh, either dot based or black based. For me, it's a lot about like just contouring the body to a certain kind of look that, you know, most of the time is the way I like it. <laughs> it's more packing, making sure everything is uh, as even as possible, which is also really difficult. Different person has a little bit like a, of a difference in their skin, some a little bit tougher, some a little bit easier to, to work on. Some people really bleed a lot, some people bleed a lot lesser. From that, I will have to adjust my pace of working. It's a lot about just making everything as smooth and black possible. I still believe being like a basic all-rounder when you just started tattooing. It helps you with like a lot of things like placement, composing something or packing colours, you know. It's just like fundamentals of everything. possible, I would love to work like a single piece all the way from the face all the way until the toes. It's not really easy getting canvas like that. It's not easy to find somebody who will commit everything just for a single artist and from head to toe. Back in the days where we were all just referencing through magazines, I don't recall like the artists. I remember people having like just shapes on their bodies or like just plain like big bowl shapes. It draws me towards that path of having something that uh, if I were to look at it from like a distance, I would still see the whole thing and that would define how you look like from that distance. Yeah, when I was 15, my friends and I were fucking around with, with like sewing needles and you know, sumi ink, like people use it to draw calligraphy. You ever play with Tamiya cars when you were young? You know, like the machines and then we bend a metal ruler, put it into a mechanical pencil, trying to make a little makeshift tattoo machine. We even tried that for a, for a bit, came out like shit and ripped up like a lot of scar tissue. Doing crappy tattoos, man.
the kind of mediums that I enjoy using outside of the medium of skin. I always like to use a lot of charcoal, a lot of pencil drawings. So I think that's kind of where it steered me toward wanting to go into black and grey realism. A lot of details, a lot of uh, replicating a photo. Because tattooing is a two-way project, right? It's between an artist and a client. Uh, the client's uh, direction is always, of course, very important. Taking that information and kind of concocting something that is uh, able to fit those criteria and also be aesthetically beautiful is something very important. I think I take a lot of influence and reference and inspiration from, from various different people, artists and all also. Seeing what they do, maybe that's an interesting piece and then I'll try to incorporate that somehow into the next project that I'm doing. Yeah, trying to be a little bit different from the piece before. The more tattoos you do and the more you experiment with, with this craft, the better you get at it. The more you understand how the skin works, how everybody's skin is a little bit different, how uh, maybe you use a technique on this person, it might not work on that person. And naturally that takes time. Uh, so the longer you invest or the more you invest your time in tattooing, in drawing, in learning and, 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 and obsessing about this craft, the more you are going to get out of it. I love tattooing, I love drawing, I love creating. Um, the skin is just a medium that I use to, to express that. I'm very grateful that people come to me to allow me to do what I want to do and what I, I feel the most passionate about. And if 10-15 years I could still be tattooing, that would be enough for me. I was very close to my dad and my first manga is I got from him. But it was like those old school Hong Kong kind of comic. That got me and my brothers way into like mangas and anime and stuff like that. And then as I grow older, secondary school, it doesn't look to like um, punk rock where people have tattoos all on their body. I think it's just kind of like a one point tattooing just hit on you and then it became like a whole new thing. Before going into manga, I was very into dot work, like huge pieces, mandala and stuff like that. Then I had this client, she wanted to have like a full sleeve of just manga panel. It got me very into it because um, to create the exact manga panel, right, you have to copy exactly how the artists kind of do it. So that actually got me very interested into doing more and then people start to notice and I start to get more work. I kind of like it when people come into the shop and you know they can tell me like whichever comic, whichever chapter and then there's something that we can relate to. It's like geeks and nerds like, like hanging out and, and, and talking together. So apart from tattooing, that is another section that I kind of like it a lot to enjoy with my clients and stuff. I use very, very thin lines to create a very sharp and crisp image that you see when they draw on the manga itself because they probably draw it with just like fine line pen. One of the things is that I have to use very fine lines and the other thing is that using very fine lines, you get to see mistake very easily. It's not like normal bow line where you can overlap and overlap. Another thing is that I want the line to stay on your body because I wouldn't want to do something on your body that is fine but throughout three years or four years, that line became nothing. It's a very good thing that um, people are trying to accept how art in whichever form they can be. 
not just like pleasant to eyes. The horror one definitely is one of my favorites. It's really, really fun to do. I just want to create more and more images that people are happy about. Because I kind of feel them. I grew up reading manga. When people come to me, there's definitely a story why they would want that particular banner. I believe for manga readers or like for anime readers, you definitely have this kind of feeling. When people walk out with that panel on their body and they are really happy with it, that is like one goal that I achieve every day, which is, which is good enough for me. I'm sure I do get stares. Oh, I'm fucking sure it's judging. <laughs> I'm fucking sure like you, you like 80% of, of it is like judging, 30% is judging a little bit lesser. It's been a while since I took the train, so. That's why I drive. When I go out, uh, I, I just don't care, I just don't, uh, I just don't know. I believe I never do anything wrong, you know. In secondary school, was when I started my apprenticeship. Yeah, when I was 15, I went to a, a tattoo shop, asked whether we could buy some equipment. We had the smart idea that if we get good equipment, it would mean good tattoos. Uh, totally not the case. Just nice, I had my sketchbook with me, so, so the owner had took a look at it and, and asked me whether I wanted to be an apprentice. There wasn't much of a reference point back then because this predated the, the internet era, at least for me. So whatever we could reference, we reference off books or magazines or, or, or what people would bring in and we take it from there. Yeah, so we take whatever jobs that we could get. I kind of want like, um, just to have one series of my own drawn like, comic issue. But given the workload and, and you know, because we have to draw every day and stuff, right? I wouldn't have the time to to let go of my own creative juice and, and, and to focus on that. If I were to focus on that, I have to stop my work. So that is one of the dreams that I would like to work on, but mainly right now, it's just tattooing.